This short video is dedicated to the large assembly users, SOLIDWORKS large assembly users. If you are not one of them, you don't need to watch it. My name is Alin Vargato from Trimax Solutions, also known as the large assembly wizard, uh, the author of the large assembly and drawing workshop. Uh, I want to share with you some exciting news about changes in the workshop. We are adding a couple of new case studies and uh, the symptoms that I'm going to show you right now might affect you right now. Depending on the version of SOLIDWORKS you have, you might be more affected or less. So for example, if you have SOLIDWORKS 2021 or older, you probably might have seen this, uh, this issue. So I'm going to open up an assembly, a very, very small assembly. Uh, let's take a look at the top level assemblies here is this one. Uh, it's very, very small. If I open it in large design review mode, you can see it has just a few uh, components. It's, it's nothing much. Uh, but even in large design review mode, it takes a moment for it to be shown. How many com components I have here? Uh, 24. This should open in two seconds flat, okay? What happens if I open it in lightweight or resolve? So let's try the same thing. Actually, you know, let's use the recent document command. I'm going to press the R button. And I'm opening in resolve mode. What do you see? Well, it started loading and then it stops when it reaches a certain component. So this assembly, uh, the 10 component, the next assembly, uh, takes its sweet time to load. Have you ever noticed something like that? And I'm not talking about parts. You might have this big part file um, coming from a step file and can be slow. And now look at that. It jumped already to component number 17 and is waiting and waiting and waiting. When you load assemblies, if you see sub-assemblies taking a long, long time, that is not normal. Sub-assembly should open in seconds, should be read in seconds. Let me, let me uh, restate that. Um, troubleshooting tools for that, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, but the causes and um, technique that we use for fixing this will take a bit longer than what I can have available as time in this video. Uh, so I'm going to uh, invite you to um, the Large Assembly and Drawing Workshop. The next one is uh, this month in July, and I'm going to show you also how to get there. Uh, as you can see, I'm talking right now, just try to fill the time that it takes to open this very, very small assembly. This is super painful. So if you guys are using SOLIDWORKS 2022, 21, 20 or older versions, you can be into a world of trouble. Uh, if I go into performance evaluation, Notice I have two sub-assemblies. One takes 61 seconds, the other one 20 seconds. This sub-assembly should open like in under half a second. Without changing these files, I'm going to open the same assembly in SOLIDWORKS 2023. So that might be one thing to consider. Uh, if you don't have time to take the training, just upgrade your SOLIDWORKS version. Okay, so same assembly, open also fully resolved. Uh, I haven't upgraded the files, they are still in 2021. Uh, version and you can see it has the same hiccup when it reaches the 10 component but it's going to take less time it's not going to be 60 plus seconds to load this so 2023 improved uh, this functionality improved the performance um, but still it was much slower than i was expecting right you can see this is still 2021 version uh, going here what do i see about 20 seconds for one and two seconds for the other so uh, a huge improvement in performance, but I still want to go to under one second. And this is one of the many key studies that we will cover in the large assembly and drawing workshop. If you are wondering what else you're getting out of this course as deliverables, you are getting the um, PDF of the whole PowerPoint presentation. Uh, altogether, uh, 537 slides at this time. Moreover, at the end of each day, I will send you an email containing lots of other articles and uh, videos and the recording of what we have covered in that day. So let's take a look what's uh, in one of these videos. You are getting not only the whole content, but I'm also adding timestamps, chapters. So for example, if you're curious, uh, if you're dealing with flexible assemblies, and um, they're giving you grief and you want to jump directly to that moment in time, 
you press a button and it takes you directly to the flexible assemblies. Probably I don't need to show the <laughs> closed capture right now, but it takes you it, it, it takes you directly there and uh, you can see talking about all the topics that are relevant for um, uh, this specific part of the large assembly topic. Now, you might say, how do I find this workshop? And I'm going to put the link of the workshop in the um, description of this video, but you can Google it yourself. Just type the word large assembly and drawing workshop. And most likely one of the first links is going to be the Trimac Soldiers Large Assembly and Drawing Workshop. And you can see right here what you will learn, but more importantly, when is the next class? So July 24, we still have a few seats available and I would really like to spend time with you. Four afternoons, if you are on the, uh, in the Eastern time, but you can be anywhere in the world. Um, my clients from Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia are joining these courses. We still have a few seats. Uh, we are keeping very small classes, usually no more than eight people in the class. And I promise you, the techniques that you're gonna learn in this course are gonna make your large assemblies and large drawings much, much faster. I mean, you're gonna feel the assemblies are faster, but actually you will be much more efficient working with them. See you soon, thank you.